hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the part two of my lessons from my 20s series and in case you haven't seen the first part i spoke a lot about career and finance and my own experience and my journey is a very insightful video so if you're in your 20s or even 30s or whatever age you are go and look at that video it's very very good i promise in this particular video i am focusing more on relationships and social interaction because yeah we are all social beings and as much as career and money is important i feel like the social aspects of our lives are also important so i'll be sharing my lessons my tips my experiences regarding this area again like i said in the first video i'm not here to advise you because we're all figuring out stuff we're all trying to figure out life nobody knows everything but this is like my own point of view and my experiences and i'm hoping that it helps someone it helps anybody out there who happens to watch this video so let's get into it so the first lesson or the first tip or advice i'm going to give is about self-confidence listen i know people talk about it a lot have confidence have confidence but the truth is that having self-confidence or finding self-confidence early in life is going to save you from a lot of headache it's going to help you even the career that i mentioned it's going to help you when you interact with other people it's just helping you navigate life differently right so i've put self-confidence and self-esteem side by side even though they're not exactly the same they're kind of similar self-esteem in the sense that you need to think of yourself in a positive light this is very very like your twins is the time when you are very impressionable like you're not a baby you're not like a teenager anymore but you're also not fully coming to your own for most people anyway for me it took me a while for some people maybe they find themselves very early in life good for them but for me and for many other people your twins is when you're trying to learn yourself, trying to discover who you are, what you like, what you don't like. And you're seeing your peers, you're seeing, now it's even worse with social media. We're seeing so many things and 20 year olds now seem like 30 year olds during our time and 40 year olds during our time. So it's very easy for you to fall into the trap of thinking that, oh, your life sucks or your body sucks or your job sucks or whatever. It's not true. Your 20s is when you should have the most self-confidence. Try and build it. Like if you don't have it, naturally in quotes or if you're not raised in that way me i was like my background is from like i'm from a very small family very conservative very christian so and i'm naturally a little bit on the chiller side so but confidence hasn't really been my problem like even though i'm not like out there and pushy pushy but i can tell you that having healthy self-confidence and healthy self-esteem has made me for example not get lost in things that i see or be too impressed or too be, or be too impressionable because if you don't have self-esteem or you don't have a healthy dose of self-confidence people and things and life will make you seem like you don't know what you're doing like it's, it's very important that you find find your ground and know that you are the shit and know that you are here and you're supposed to be here and you are you have as much value as the next person it doesn't matter if the person is finer than you or richer than you me i've always felt like i'm the shit that's that's just how i've always felt about myself even though yeah some days you feel down and you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be but deep down i feel like i'm the shit that's that's how i get left and that's how i feel like i don't feel like there's anybody who's better than me like you may have more money than me or be finer than me that's fine but i really don't feel like anybody's more valuable than me that's that's how i feel and that's how i advise anybody in their 20s to get into that headspace because it's going to help you a lot the next lesson and this i'm very happy that i was able to do and i advise everybody to get into it is to determine what your value system is on time because life is all about choices you'll be faced with so many choices about where to go things to do what not to do but determining what your value system is your own personal value system not what you were raised with or what you are saying people do what your what are your personal values what is the lines that you will not cross i believe in self-discipline a lot and in your 20s you're no longer like a child you're not most people in their 20s have kind of left home or even if you are still at home you are still you are kind of independent for the most part so your choices are your own responsibility and you're going to live with what you choose you're going to live with your choices if they are good or bad so determining your value system early enough is going to save you it will just make your choice making a little easier you know your own personal boundaries you know what to do of course this will maybe shift and adjust as you grow older and <laughs> your value system might even might even change or get tweaked a little bit but it's important that in your 20s you find some sort of a base value system if you're lucky like for most of us most of our values were kind of 
instilled in our head from when we were small or don't lie you know integrity timeliness all of these things but it's important that in your 20s you take out time to figure out who you are at least at a base level and then you can build up from there your value system is important because as you're growing into the world like in full adults they're going to meet different kinds of people you're going to meet people from all walks of life people that have different orientation from you people who were raised differently from you it's important that you kind of know who you are and what your values are it will help you if for example choosing friends or you're making friends to help you align you know where you go what you do what you don't do how you dress how you carry yourself your value system is very very important like for example integrity if you decide that integrity is something that you hold as a value it will help you navigate in business, in work, in your relationships. It will just help you, right? So it's important that you have that. Have a value system and determine what your, what your own value system is in your 20s. So like I mentioned in the last video or in the career video, your 20s is when you should stay the most open-minded. You should learn. Like you've just left home or left school. You're now entering into the world of adulthood and there's so many things to see, so many places to see. People to, like there's so many things. The world is like so huge. It's important that you stay open minded and keep your keep your mind open to learning new things there's cultures languages if you if you need to continue your education whatever you need to do being open-minded like your 20s it's not the time for you to dig your heels in and say no i will never change i'll never try anything new this is who i am this is how i am it's like it's like when you hear people say oh that's how i am no your 20s is when you should you should develop good habits, you should develop positive, a positive mindset, you should learn to look at the world from an open mind because you meet people of different sexuality. For example, we're living in a time, I mean, I have to talk about this, we're living in a time when sexuality, for example, is, is a very hot topic right now and we are, we are in a place in human existence where we are trying to evolve in how we view or how we, how we determine sexuality. So it's very important that you stay open-minded to hear other people's arguments, knowing where you stand and knowing what your value system is, but at the same time, being able able to 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 get information and filter what you're hearing and filter what you're seeing and filter what is being thrown at you is very very important keep an open mind so you learn new languages you learn new things learn new topics you might have learned something in school or learned how to do something let's say for example food there's a way you eat or you cook from how you're small or your house but your 20s as, as you're mixing with other people you get to see how other people are doing things they are better than you or different from you so that's the time for you to try new things and keep an open mind really like there's nothing that is more stunting than seeing somebody like a young adult being so close-minded if there's a new social media for example or a new app or now we have chat gpt we have ai whatever it is that's coming up i'm not saying do everything but try to learn and stay curious about what's happening in the world politics times have passed when you know like when we were young many of us didn't get didn't have interest in politics because we felt like it, like it didn't concern us but in this day and time we see that this is important for you to know so for us to be a successful 20 year old in this day and time you need to stay open stay learning keep an open mind and adjust as you go the next lesson for me and this i did kind of but it was towards the end of my 20s i didn't do this earlier on is to prioritize friendships now, the reason why I say this is because, again, for me, my, my background is such that I came from a very small family, just two siblings, parents, and we're pretty much like on our own. We didn't have people, like we had relatives coming in and out, but we didn't have lots of um, like crowd around us. So um, I'm someone that comes from that kind of background. So almost everybody I have in my life right now are people that I, I kind of made friends with, like as I came into my 20s. So... But now in my 30s, looking back, I, I thank God every day. Like if, I, if I'm praying, I bless God for my friends like twice. That's how valuable friendships have become for me. In your 30s, it will be a little harder because of where you be in life. Some people might be married, some people might have migrated. So many changes might have happened in your life in your 30s. So your friends, in your 20s, you are still young and optimistic and open-minded. So it's, it's easier to make friends in your 20s. And your friendships are important. Um, so, so my friend will always say, oh, she's she's not good at following up with friends and keeping track. Yeah, because now in your 30s, you have other shit to worry about. You have things to worry about. But in your 20s, your worries are not so much. So I suggest and I advise that you take that time to make good friends and cultivate those friendships. Because in your 30s, you're going to see how valuable friends and friendship is. Like your friends and your friendship have the power to either grow you or stunt your growth like regardless as depend on how you go so learn to make good friends and learn good habits be learn to be a good friend in your 20s it's going to help if you're a woman you know how some girls will say oh i don't like female friends female friends are this look if you're a woman 
I advise, I'm not saying don't make male friends, I have a bunch of male friends too, but in my 30s now, I can tell you for free that female friendships to a woman is so very important. If you're a guy, I guess that might be the same thing for men too. Prioritize same-sex friendships over other side but make friends with everybody obviously and learn how to maintain friendships your friendships you're going to meet them in front you're going to need friends in front you're going to need the skill of making friends skill of maintaining friendships is going to help you a whole lot so yeah make friends in your 20s this next lesson and tip is a little controversial hmm, because i want to say in your 20s you should date more so for me again in my, in my own experience i didn't date in my 20s i didn't date I, I i was in a relationship i think one relationship and then i didn't date for like years and years right i was just focused on hustling and for whatever reason <laughs> but i mean it wasn't intentional but looking back you know that that's one thing about your 20s it's it, it flies by without even without even you, you even knowing right so you have to be a little bit intentional in how you socialize i didn't socialize much the friends that i have now i made them in my 20s but i didn't make friends from the point of view of dating i didn't really i didn't date i really and what what this does for you and i find this to be true in my own um in my own experience is that yes you get used to being alone you get used to you become that like a loner kind of but like not the good type of loner because sometimes learning human beings like there's no book you can read about human beings that will teach you more than actual interactions you're going to learn about people and how to manage people the more you interact with people that's just fact so if you're somebody who is looking to marry for example if you want to if your goal is to get married on time i advise you to start dating on time if your goal is to even maybe marry later 30s 40s whatever dating and by this let me clearly state that i don't mean sleeping with people dating as in going out to places interacting talking to people of opposite sex you learn about opposite sex you learn about if you're a man you learn about women if you're a woman you learn about men of course you can't finish learning about men and women this is like a whole lifelong lesson that people keep learning every day but in your 20s you are still experimenting you are still at that phase where um you can easily fall into bad traps and you can also, also if you're lucky you can fall into the good traps but i feel like if I could go back in time, I'll definitely date and socialize more. Socializing is very, very key in your 20s to do. I didn't do that and it's kind of, I regret it a little bit, but yeah, if you're in 20s, absolutely date more, socialize more, go out more, be open to different people. Like don't close off yourself and you just be in one place, no. So yeah, that's my advice. Date more in your 20s. My next lesson, and this is something that I kind of did not do intentionally but i advise everyone to do it is to try and fail more like try more things and fail and learn how to fail i think that's what i should say learn how to fail because <laughs> yesterday we were watching one video and there's a 20 year old 20 someone in his 20s who was complaining about finances and you know we're saying how oh like in your 20s you feel like you know most of us have that dream like oh by the time i'm 30 i have my car i have this i have that life is very funny sometimes it won't go how how you planned it so but learning how to fail learning how to fall learning how to restart someone like me people that are close to me know my story as far as you know life and finance goes as someone who has failed a lot and knowing how to restart without shame without any fear is a very important skill for you to learn in your 20s in your 20s i mean nobody really cares you think everybody cares but nobody in your 30s you know that nobody cares right if you fail if you try a business for example or a new job or a new relationship or a new friendship or you travel to a new place whatever it is that you try food be it anything really learn to try things learn to fail and learn to pick yourself up again because you're going to need that practice a lot in the future like in your 30s 40s you're going to have a lot of failures a lot big and small failures it's important that you learn how not to let your failures hold you back that even if you do fail or you do fall or things the things don't go the way you plan them you learn how to pick up yourself and move on this is a very important skill and your 20s is when you are like you are so you have you are more optimistic you are more resilient in your 20s than you be every year and every every year as you grow older you lose optimism a little bit i don't know about that but for me it's, it's happening to me every year that passes you lose optimism you lose a little bit of energy you lose a little bit of steam and drive so your 20s is when you should maximize that optimism believe you can do anything believe you can try anything and if you do fail it's fine nothing will happen the next tip i'm going to give on next lesson that i feel like everyone should learn and i learned this very early and i'm very happy that i learned it so it's not one of my regrets is to learn good manners and etiquette this is very important i put it on that social because many people kind of 
overlook it for some reason because it's not considered very important or let me just say people take it for granted that you learn how to behave but now in my 30s as you're interacting with people you see that many people don't know how to behave there are people who don't know how to talk they don't know how to carry themselves they don't know how to dress they don't know where to you know what to say in what occasion they don't know so basic things that how to eat properly you would think it's basic but it's not i promise you there are people who don't know how to behave they don't they lack basic etiquette they don't know how to speak to people they don't know how to address people they don't know how to talk in public they don't know how to modulate or even regulate their emotion knowing how to behave especially in a social setting is very important like there are many videos here on youtube that will take you through etiquette how to eat with fork and knife how to dress how to walk those things are they might be frivolous yes but i feel like in your 20s if you can gather those skills it will help you a lot many people i mean so depending on the background that you come from if you have parents or guardians who took the time to, te to teach you how to how to behave in a social manner lucky you but for many people they might have to figure things out on their own so it's very important know how to eat know how to talk know how to walk know how to dress nobody likes an asshole nobody likes a badly behaved person like nobody likes somebody who doesn't know how to talk like in your 30s it will be unforgivable in your 20s you can get away with a little bit because you are still young and figuring things out so if manners is very important like it will, it's what will give you respect is what will make people be drawn to you to make people respect you to make people like to be around you nobody likes to be around somebody that's ill-mannered nobody likes it i promise you so learn manners learn etiquette learn social etiquette is very very important let me know in the comment section if you want specific social etiquette or social manner skill i'll be happy to expand on this because it's a very very huge topic that many people overlook but i feel like to be a well-rounded successful individual or adult you need to know how to behave you need to have good manners and you need to have proper social etiquette the next insight or tip or advice not advice but the next lesson from my 20s that i learned and i learned this pretty early and i'm thankful that i learned it <laughs> and many women will laugh because this is very relatable be grateful for the body that you have in your 20s because your 30s will come with changes that you don't even know like your body will change in your 30s for the men too it happens like we have how many of them crying about their hairlines receding or something so in your 20s i feel like like i'm not saying that your body is the best in your 20s because again the status and the 40s life doesn't end in your 20s and 30s and your body will keep adjusting and changing but for most people they they, they spend all their time in their 20s worrying about their body thinking that their body is so bad and then you get to your 30s and then you look back at your pictures and you're like oh my god why was i worried about this like why was i like for me for example is my skin so in my 20s, I had relatively good skin, even though I had issues with my skin, but it's not as bad. Like, it got bad in the last couple of years, one, two years or so. Now, if I could go back in time, I don't think I would, I would see my skin as so bad anymore. So, however your body, your skin, your hair, your nails, your 20s, learn to appreciate it, learn to celebrate it, learn to use it well, like, learn to take care of it, value it, dress well, decorate your body, because you don't know what changes will occur in your body as you're getting older. You don't know if you're going to like the changes you don't know there's so many things that happen to your body when you turn 30 you guys it's a whole other conversation ask people in their 30s around you and their 40s and 50s they'll tell you like every decade comes with its own with its own adjustments more often than not those adjustments you don't even know how it's going to turn out so in your 20s take advantage of your body be patient with your body if you are unhappy about anything and let me just touch on cosmetic surgery here i'm not saying 20s don't have your body done in your 20s or don't get plastic surgery in your 20s this is a very personal decision i'm going to allow people to do what you want obviously i'm just someone on youtube talking <laughs> so of course do what you want but i feel like for most of us speaking as a woman specifically your 30s like your body in your 20s is, is still changing it's still growing it's still adjusting almost as if it hasn't really settled into its true form or final form there's no final form but you know what i mean like in your 20s your body is still just coming off of teenage you're just like like a young adult your body is trying to figure out what it's going to do your hormones are trying to figure out what it's going to do so making permanent alterations because you feel like your body is not any ideal or an ideal shape or proportion it's i feel like it's not the most advisable thing like i've always felt like my body is it's not perfect but i've always been comfortable with my body actually like um i mean thanks to genetics i don't feel like i've had any huge problems or so in my body even though i feel like of course i want my bum to be bigger and all of this vanity stuff but i feel like 
in your 20s yes do superficial changes learn how to dress properly and all that but any drastic change or drastic alteration to your body i feel like your 20s might not be the best time for you to do it for for many women they begin to maybe have kids at maybe late 20s 30s 40s whatever your body hasn't even gone through that yet so it almost as if i feel like because there's always going to be something you know one thing i want to advise or tell every 20 year old is that when it comes to beauty trends right they'll always change there's always going to be something there's always going to be something there's always going to be something like don't don't think whatever idea you're seeing now that's how it's going to be in the next five years body standards beauty standards they change all the time so don't look at your body like look at your body from from the point of view of this is what you have this is how you are so learn to accentuate what what you have that's nice learn to in quotes ignore the things that you know you can't change or you can't control and don't don't measure your body against beauty standards because they'll always change there's always going to be something like there was a time back in the day if you read maybe history of fashion or beauty trends back in the day way way back 50s 60s 70s it was like very slim lanky no but nothing slim nose you know the european features were what was in vogue and then fast forward we all hear when we saw when you know the big african type features became the in thing and now we are seeing lots of these people taking out their bombs and their bodies and their boobs and now they're now we are almost as if we're going back to the era of you know of natural bodies in quotes fine there was a time when being less skin was the thing like it was all it was all the rave and if you're in less even till now yes there's less skin privilege that's another topic for another day but there was a time when being light skin was so was a do or die affair and bleaching was new and it was crazy and even though bleaching is still like in vogue right now it's not like before now there's celebration on people's natural color if you're dark skin chocolate black beauty all that but there was a time when it was not the case so don't do anything um permanently altering in your 20s i would advise like get comfortable in your body it should take time even if you feel uncomfortable in your body trust me it's gonna take some time by the time you get to your 30s you come to see that it doesn't really matter like you come to see that it doesn't really matter it doesn't like let me also say that when you hear about glow up the glow up is real it's true it's true for most people 30s and 40s comes with some sort of a glow up there are most people most people look more attractive in their 30s than they did in their 20s um they might not be as slim or as clueless but your 30s comes with more confidence in your body and you just look a little bit more attractive i for one i think that's the case for me i definitely feel more attractive in my 30s as far as being sexy you know i, I feel sexier in my 30s than i did in my 20s so those are my few lessons from my 20s regarding relationships and social interactions i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope this helps anybody if you have any specific questions or you want to add your own thoughts or your own experiences leave them in the comment section i'll be responding and interacting there i'm very happy to hear from you give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe in case you haven't i'm going to see you in my next video if you haven't seen the part one of this series go and watch it i'm going to leave it linked up here so you can watch it now and you can also expect the part three which is the final part there we're talking about physical mental and emotional well-being and i'm going to see you in that video all right bye